Hey, we're here at the Farm Progress Show. We're gonna take a look at this new 5E three-cylinder tractor. This particular one's a 5075E, so it's the same machine I have, only it's got several updates. We're gonna take a look at it. If you're not interested in the 5 Series, well, you'll probably just wanna skip this episode and move on to the next one. But we're gonna go through in some detail what has changed and what's still the same on this tractor. Let's get started. I've got Greg Christensen here. Greg, you're a marketing manager. Yeah, correct. On the so, 5 Series. Correct. So I'd be a marketing manager for all 5 Series uh, utility tractors and Frontier implements. Frontier implements, yeah. too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start off with some of these changes here, Greg. First thing I noticed, this tire is a little bit wider than mine. I have those skinny 9.5s on mine. What do we have here? Yeah, that's a big update to the model year 23 versions of this tractor is that now from the factory, you'll be able to get an 11 2 inch okay. front bias tire and then also a 12.4 inch bias tire on, on um, all models of the, the 5E. Okay, that's a huge change. My, my tires are just, just too skinny on that. The loader looks the same. I don't see any changes there. Um, engine? Yeah, brand new engine for model year 23. You know, this tractor in the past, you've never had to add um, DEF or a DPF filter, but if you're operating at low speeds, you, it would go through a regen process. So with this tractor now, no regen, um, just get in the tractor, work, and uh, the regen takes care of itself through a, a diesel oxidation catalyst engine. Okay, okay, no more regens, and, and it is a, we've all dealt with regens now for nearly 10 years, and I'm glad to see that disappearing. What else on the model, model numbers, the, what you'll see on the tractor there, that hasn't changed, but you'll notice uh, three other new model numbers in this series. You'll get the 5050E, 5060E, 5067E, and then the 5075 like in the past, just okay. more to closely align that model number with the, the engine horsepower so it's not as confusing. Okay, now is there gonna be a way to identify, I mean, how do I say 5075E, is this like a Gen 2 or how do you, how are we going to identify that? It, it, the easiest way is just going to be if you have a model year 23 or newer or, or pre-model year 23, okay. I guess, would be the way to... 2023 model year is the first of, of this redesign. Correct. Let's look inside the cab. Greg, I see a buddy seat or an instructional seat, as you guys would probably call them in here. I have that on mine, but the dealer had to make some pretty severe modifications to make it work. Yeah, and in the past, like you said, you could get it. Uh, it would take you know your time or the dealer's time to put it in, your cost to put it in. Now you can get it uh, straight from the factory. That tractor will show up. It looks um, like the same the seat, Yep. but it, the, the mounting is a, just a little more formal. And yeah. we had to cut through some of the foam and all to make it fit. So that's a big upgrade there. Yeah. I'm on an air seat. You might sit, tell that I'm setting a little low, but uh, that's because it needs to be pumped up. This is an air seat, it's standard. Yeah, on the premium cab option, which is a whole new option for model year 23. Okay. So you can really get this tractor three ways from a cab perspective, open operator station, standard cab, like we've had in the past, and then the new premium cab option, which will bring this and, and many more features that we'll probably talk about here in a second. Okay. You know, Greg, I thought the cab in the 5E was pretty good anyway. In other words, for an E-Series tractor, I didn't expect the cab to be as nice and uh, quiet as it was, but now you're saying there's a premium cab option. Go through some of the, the items that are a part of that premium cab. Yeah, you know, you're right. Model year 22 and before it, the, the cab that was on there was a good cab, but it's an entry-level tractor. Now we've added another layer of kind of comfort and convenience to this. The, the big things you'll see is that the controls on the, the right-hand console, those used to be on the floor. Right, um, over down here. Yep, for the premium cab, we've redesigned all that and, and put the controls kind of more within reach of the operator. Okay, so for the standard cab, they're still down Sta here? Standard cab will look just like model year 22 in, in prior. Now, okay, that's yep. helpful, that's yep. helpful info. So these are the two SCVs in the rear. Are they standard? On the premium cab, yes, they'll be standard. Okay, yep. and there are options on the standard cab and the open station. This is the three-point hitch control. It's it's very much higher up here rather than rather than down. It has the look, like you say, of a premium tractor. Yep. It is still cable connected, yes. so we don't have electronic controls in this unit yet. We have to step up to the M for that. That's correct. Throttle's been moved a little bit. The throttle was out here on the right. It was a little bit hard to access, I thought, and it's been moved a little bit here. The four-wheel drive's engaged with a switch right here, just a little electronic toggle switch. That's a huge improvement. I've got a mechanical 
uh, lever that's a cable, cable driven lever down at the lower left side. Uh, so I find that a big step up. Now I see two more buttons over here on the side. Uh, what do they do, Greg? Yes, we call those the EQRL buttons, really electronic quick raise lower. And uh, it's, it's basically okay. one button push to raise your three-point implement okay. or um, lower to a, a set depth. Okay, so I don't have to pull the three-point hitch lever and go back and forth each time. Correct. I can put it to the depth I want to run at and then I can just push the raise button, and then when I get ready to, to drop the attachment again, I can push the lower button. Correct, so if you're running a, a, a small disc or a tiller, um, one button push to put it at the depth you set, and you know you're always on that consistent okay. depth. Okay. Now, yep. while we're at the premium cab, I see that the radio is in here, is that standard? Yeah, that is standard on the premium cab option. Uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth, radio will come with the premium cab package. Okay, and I see a couple of USB ports yep. over here. Um, I see that the wipers are... Yeah, rear wiper will also come in uh, the premium cab package along with sunroof. Oh, yeah. In, in the premium bright. cab, you know, moving small round bales or square, square bales around with the loader, raising them up, stacking them, see right through and, and, and see where you're putting them. Yeah, the sunroof is not so that you can get a tan. It's yeah. <laughs> so that you can use that loader when it's high. This is one thing that a cab tractor has issues with. When you raise these loaders all the way up, you just can't bend over enough to see what you're doing at, at the top. But at the same time, it does get kind of bright and there's a nice a nice shade there. And then, it, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna be running with the window <laughs> open. We've got air conditioning in here. That's I don't right. wanna let the dust in, but, but you can if you want to. Uh, air conditioner controls appear much the same, maybe moved a little bit. The, the dash appears identical yeah. uh, to the 22 and earlier, uh, which is not a bad thing. In this machine, we still have the 12 speed, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, pop, it's a power reverser transmission. Power reverser, yeah. It also, a has a, also has a left hand reverser. So people kind of confuse that uh, power reverser means you can go forward and backward without clutching. Yeah. Um, but that's the left hand reverser that allows you to do that. Uh, okay. Great for you know loader, loader work. Uh, you know, put but it that's forward. the only one we have here. We don't have anything on the right. I think the larger tractors have the right as well as the left. Correct. It, you can get this tractor in a in a sync shuttle 93 transmission on some of the lower models, but uh, most popular by far is, is the the 12 speed power reverser transmission. Now, if you want a, a more advanced transmission, we're going to have to step up not just to the M series, but we're going to have to go to at least uh, 95 or 100 horses in the M, I believe. Yeah, well, the, the M comes in 75 horsepower, so you could get a 75 horsepower tractor in an M. Um, but I don't believe you can get the uh, more advanced transmission correct. until you get to the 95. That 90, 90 horsepower now um, is you can start picking up the Power Quad Plus transmission and the Power 8. Basically, they're the same transmission. One has 16 speeds, one has 32 speeds. The Power 8 has 32. And then the, the Power 8 also gets you um, kind of an eco mode when you're going down the road in those top two gears. Um, it'll throttle back the transmission for some you know, fuel savings going down the road. So let's be clear on that. That's not available in the E-Series, nor is it available in the 75M. You have to get up to the 90M. Yep. To, to be able to to get those more advanced transmissions. Correct. I see this machine's got two rear end CVs. Greg, is that standard now? On the premium cab uh, version of this, that the, these will come standard. Then you can option them in on, on some of the other versions of the, okay. the E as well. Now they've been moved a little bit from uh, the, the 22 and earlier models. Uh, th these hard lines, I had some trouble with leakage where they connect down in here. The way these are routed, they're gonna be much, much easier, I believe, to keep from leaking. So I, I see this as a nice improvement. I also noticed that the, the stabilizers here uh, look more beefy on the, the lift links down here at the sides. They're, they've been redesigned a little bit and they just look a lot more beefy. Other than that, I don't see much change on the rear hitch mechanism. Greg, I see a couple of differences here. Now my, my single point connector was dealer installed and the, the bracket that they had put it right out here so much so that the handle actually touches this door. Um, by the way, right-hand door. Yeah, that's one thing we forgot to talk about with the premium cab, um, right-hand door, standard on the premium cab okay. option. Yeah. Okay, the right-hand door is just like mine. It's an option on the standard cab and older, and older machines, but, but uh, uh, standard on the premium. Yeah. The single point connector here though, they've, they've I'm gonna say it, they've bent the bracket here. It looks a little awkward, 
but I think it's going to be a lot easier to deal with. The handle's going to pull right up here. It's 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 free. It's easy. Um, there's what eight inches of separation here. I don't think that's going to cause a problem. This is not real weak connectors here and everything anyway, so I don't think that'll be a problem. There's one other difference here. There's two extra hoses. Yeah, and that's uh, another big thing for model year 23 that you'll be able to order a, a true third function mid valve with, with the 5E. And you know, before it was a kind of a diverter valve that you probably yep. have installed on yep. yours. This that's is That's all I have is a yep. diverter. And so I have four hoses and one electric line. Yep. Um, going in here. So. Yeah, so you'll be able to order that now from the factory with a, a true third function, um, but then also still get a, a, a dual mid SCV. And then if you're just pulling wagons and, and don't need all this stuff, you can order this tractor less mid SCVs as well. Okay. Is there any difference on the loader? Yeah, no, no difference on the on the loader for 23. Um, doesn't mean there won't be in the in the future um, as we look to to build you know, loaders that, that match this tractor a little better. But right now, what you can order today in loaders is is what comes on the 5E. Mm, I heard a hint for the future. <laughs> mm. Future video. He revealed a little bit too much there. <laughs> hey, look, hey, the 520M, if anything, is too strong for this tractor. So go ahead and buy it because they'll probably be introducing one that's not quite as strong. That's my editorial comment there. Just want to summarize here a little bit. The biggest changes, a new engine that doesn't have regen premium cab option uh, that includes a lot of features standard really in that premium cab option. Do you know off the top of your head uh, the MSRP price difference of the premium cab? It'd be, uh, you're making me do some math, it's a 3,000-ish list. So yeah, a lot, a lot of value there I think for what, what is really added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we, we added all the options yeah. for ours and they were more than 3,000 when we had the dealer install the instructional seat, the extra SCV, the premium radio system, the, the uh, air seat, oh it's, yeah. yeah. And LED lights, we didn't mention oh, yeah, we, LED we lights. Yeah, we forgot LED lights, uh, standard on uh, the premium cab option, both up on the cab and in the front. And then you can get it on the other options as well. Get some LED lights for some better visibility if you're out working past when the sun goes down. A lot of similarities to the tractor that we have, um, but the changes make sense, right? This is a nice improvement. Great job, Greg. Yeah, thanks, good talking to you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. <laughs> His name is Cole. He's wearing a Millennial Farmer shirt, but he stopped by to visit anyway. I, I think he's Cole the corn cob or Cole the corn something, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.